Hello everyone, so it's good to be back with a very important video. So the 200 euro energy payment for students, that one time payment is released by March 15th by German government. So let's quickly look into the detail how to do it. It's very simple and let's uh, go one by one. Maybe you have to do multiple things or maybe you, you cannot do the easiest way out. Let's see what to do and how to grab that 200 euro immediately. So the one thing you need by now is an access code and a PIN number which is provided by uni your university. So if you are eligible for this particular payment, your university might have already provided you with this information in your eCampus. Before that, you have to create an account in bund.de. You can also, uh, there are multiple steps given to create this account. Either you can use your residence permit, uh, an electronic, pin code of your residence permit you can use an ELSTA certificate and there is an option to use a normal username and password method which is the simplest method so let's try that way how to access it it's uh, it's very easy to do it that way otherwise you have to have an electronic uh, electronic pin number of your residence permit which all of uh, all of us might have in accessed till now so let's do the other way so let's start this is the first thing we have to do create a, an account at bund.de so the link is id.bund.de so you can also change the language from Deutsch to English here and go to create an account so click on create an account there are multiple ways to create it using an electronic identification number which is related to re residence permit also using an EU identity ELSTA certificate etc but the easiest way to create is username and password which is necessary for this uh, particular thing because you don't have to go through all the difficult steps to ensure your 200 euro payment so once you click on username and password you can create an account tap on create account give your consent and tap next this will lead you to the page where you can give the personal details see if the personal data includes your name family name birth birth date etc and even your place of birth you also have to give your address the germany's current address and tap next it will lead to the page where you can give your contact details including your phone number and email address email address is very important to be verified once you give your email address you will get a verification code to say uh, a six digit verification code to your email address and you can verify your email in nine in ten minutes so once you put your email uh, six digit code you can verify your email and then it will lead to the account details where you have to enter a an username and password to your bund id account and also ensure it with a security question here this is the entire step to create a bund.id once you complete with this step you are done with the uh, done with creating a bund id uh, bund.id account uh, which is mandatory for ensuring your payment yeah we created it now let's go to the main page now since we are done with creating the account we can also log in and see what's inside but there is nothing much here now the next step is to uh, start uh, applying through the main website that is einmal salum dot uh, einmal 200.de so this is the page uh, for that you can see the uh, link for that it's uh, einmal salum uh, 200.de so once you enter that link uh, you will be followed to this and you can change the language and the main heading you can say apply for one time payment like one off payment you click on that and it will lead to the first step now before apl uh, applying for the uh, clicking on this you need to be prepared with your access code and pin number this is something which is provided by your university if you are eligible for this uh, particular payment your university might have already uh, informed you regarding these two important things by mail or even uh, in your e-campus so for us it is uh, given in our e-campus we can go to our student services and find it so here you can see the first thing they ask is the uh, uh, access code and uh, that's where you have to paste your access code and uh, 
so this is where you paste your access code and you can also give your land where your university is for um, like where whichever state or province then they also ask do you have an uh, pin extra in addition to the access code of course you need that so there is where the you need the pin uh, you need to enter the pin and use uh, this will lead to the bund id once you complete this page it will directly go to the bund id where you can log in again since we created the account already it will be Uh, smoothly done for us uh, so that's that's the reason we did the creation of bund id first now we log in using our username and password we created before and we can also change the language to english here and uh, log in to our account now so we are using to our username and password here to log in um so you can, here you can see uh, we go further to uh, create the application and um he, this is the last step of the entire process you create an application here and this is the step where you have to give your bank details you need to give your iban number here uh, in order to do the transaction so be prepared with your iban and bank details so that uh, this is the only and final step to give that uh, and it will be done Now when you click on create application you need to uh, you know you don't need to give more uh, information almost whatever you gave is already here but you may have to re enter your address and the telephone number uh, maybe it will be filled for you or if it is not then you have to enter it and finally you give the iban number along with certain declaration such as um, i declare myself i am an, an enrolled student and i have been in germany uh, from last uh, at least from 1st december 2022 so here we have to be uh, clear with the idea that students who haven't been in germany at least by 1st december 2022 are not eligible to get this particular Uh, uh like a uh, payment uh, because uh, there are students who enrolled for october the uh, last winter fall but were not able to be present in germany until now or even until uh, 2nd december then you are not eligible like at least by 1st december you should be here so that is the main clause you should be careful uh, whether you were here or not then uh, once you complete this page you are you have successfully submitted your application and we are done for the day so he, this is the page where uh, it is it confirms that your application is successfully submitted but it doesn't give any detail regarding when with how much time it will take to get the payment but i think it pretty uh, pretty fast because in the uh, beginning page itself they show the statistics uh, how they did it so that's all for today thank you for watching